Yo, what up boys and girls? Welcome to the vlog. It's your boy, the South Spouse. Uh, man, it's been a minute since I've uh, done one of these bad boys, right? I think I was depressed. I don't know. I actually wouldn't know. I wouldn't know uh, what that feels like. Shut the fuck up. I actually wouldn't know what that feels like. I've never put my finger on it before, but uh, man, I was staying home all the time and eating really bad food and never leaving the house. But I ran to the gym today, so I'm gonna say that that's done now. And now that it's done and hindsight is 2020, I'm shut your mouth. I'm gonna look back and say that it was probably I was probably depressed. Um, on an unrelated note, because they coincided with one another, I'm not with Andy anymore, so that's done. Um, Sad, yes, but also happy. Uh, happy for her, because I'm really toxic. <laughs> bing, bing! No, I'm joking. Uh, we're, we're on good terms. We text sometimes. She texts me telling me how, how good she's doing. Hey, wait a second. That's not good. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, no, not kidding about us. Not kidding about anything. We're, we're on good terms. That's what I'm saying. But I thought I'd fill you in. I never tell you guys about my personal stuff, because uh, I'm not foozy too. So I don't do that. I keep some things to my, close to my chest. But regardless, uh, we're not together anymore, so you don't need to post on my shit or post on her shit asking about it. But we're great. She's cool. Uh, I'm cooler. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm playing around. Uh, but I ran to the gym today. I feel like a million bucks. Um, you know, I'm uh, going to start eating better. going to start doing better. Uh, I stream uh, a lot, but I'm going to stream even more. You check that out, fb.gg slash Harley Morenstein. And I'm um, just posted up now, Gerard Square, waiting for my Uber. There it is. And Gerard Square is a funny place. Gerard Square is a spot in Toronto where if you wanted to buy uh, a basketball jersey with a built-in gold chain, you could get it here. It's a really silly spot. But hold on, speaking of foods, I'm gonna hop in this Uber and see if he'll let me Uber in the back seat. I'm just gonna talk to my camera though, okay? Oh, no. Don't worry, I'm not gonna cry to it. It's not like that. Uh, yeah, so I said I'm gonna see if I could Uber in the back seat. Obviously, I'm gonna Uber in the back seat. That's the service. The service is Ubering in the back seat. I meant vlog in the back seat. You guys care about seat belts? I'm big on seat belts. I think it's a generation thing. I get in the car, my mom, dad, they don't give a fuck about the seat belt at all, whatsoever. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm feeling good, shaved, got some sun, went for a run, uh, touching base with you guys, that's, I think, a big thing, I think that's, uh, I can really judge my moods based on how I feel about communicating with you guys, like, man, you know, when I'm not doing well, I don't think I can look you guys in the eye, and girls, I know there's three, um, but this is, uh, I feel like things have been going well. We got the boys at the house right now. They're cooking up an epic meal. One that has no cooking at all. It actually just involves like a thousand fruit roll-ups. I'm not gonna tell you what we're making though. It's top secret. But um, I don't know, man. I think it's the weather. Weather, weather has a big effect on me, you know? It makes, me, it makes me feel good or it makes me feel bad. Tough to say. Cause you know what? You know what one of my favorite things is? The sound of rain hitting the roof of a car when the car is off. Just that little pitter patter of the rain hitting this <laughs> shut up man you know um no seriously i love it and uh snow i used to always go skiing and snowboarding so snow was always important to me um and i like snow because it's like a good reason for me to be like yo i'm staying inside it's ugly out can't even guilt me about it so i like snow maybe it's not the weather i don't know regardless uh, I like to try and put my finger on it so that I can never let it happen again. But I don't think there was much to it other than just my motivation and my drive. I just wasn't I wasn't doing anything, you know. Sometimes you just gotta pick your ass up and get out there and do something. Sometimes you literally just need to scrape your ass up, your dirty, stupid, idiot ass, and you just gotta make yourself do something. Um, and there's no secrets to it. Uh, I think you know what it was that really kickstarted was some guy po tweeted to me on Twitter. He was like tweeted to me on Twitter. Obviously, he's not gonna tweet to me on Instagram. You can't do that. <laughs> shit, shit, this is a stupid bit. So this guy messaged me. Uh, he tweeted. I mean, he was like, "Oh man, I was really in a bad place two years ago, and a year ago, Harley tweeted some motivational video, and it got me to do something, and now I feel better about myself today." And I was like real, like a real sloppy Joe on the couch looking like an idiot. And I was like, damn, I should go see what Harley has to say about this, you know? What did I do, just drop some bullshit? But anyways, I pulled up one of my old videos where I was being all motivational and hyped up and uh, I was just like, yeah, man, that's the same guy. Yo, same guy, I should just be that guy. I should just get my ass up and, and make shit happen. Um, it started with sleep. 
I got a good sleep last night because uh, my sleep schedule has been super duper fucked up lately. So that's been one thing. I also don't go out ever. I should start going out more. That's the thing I should be doing too. I don't do that. And uh, I put on a white baseball cap. Now that, that has nothing to do with anything. I just got that because I don't mind sweating on this hat. But heading back to the uh, to the HQ now. Uh, going to touch base with all the handsome boys that I've hired. And see what, uh, I don't know, maybe you guys will get a sneak peek at uh, the Epic Meal. Maybe not. I promise nothing. It's another thing. Commit to no one. Promise nothing. Except to yourself. Commit to yourself and make promises to yourself. That's a t-shirt that no one wants to buy. Alright, show me your penis. Alright, just pulled up back at the house. Um, you know, also my gym. I was going to sell my gym. You guys know the gym that I got. I was going to sell it. Not just, just to sell it for in exchange for a Peloton. Now I might keep that gym. But I still want a Peloton. Um, man, I just I don't go halfway on shit. That's the thing about me. You know me. Like, I want something or I feel something, I go all in. I'm like, hey, this toy was pretty cool. I spent $20,000 on toys. That's not an exact amount, by the way. By the way. Might might be less. Might, might, be, might be more. I don't know. I'm getting around. <laughs> yeah, you're on it, bro. First time ever. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Santos. First time on the vlog. What's up, bro? How you doing? Shawili Illy. Wow. What are you doing? A business call? Why are you listening to some uh, Howard Stern, Conan O'Brien? He said in his new book, Howard Stern Comes Again, title of the book, that his best interview ever is Conan O'Brien. I agree, obviously. As for you, you're a Conan fan. Big time. Yeah. He's just he's the best guy, funniest guy. Hi, burgers, bro. Are they kosher? Not kosher. Wow, Rabbi's gonna be pissed, bro. Oh, no, no, no. Rabbi's gonna be pissed. No Sexy Mike, what's going on? You wanna show the boys what's going on under that shirt? Show the boys on the vlog. This is what you did it for, man. This is what you did it for, baby. Right here, right now. Lift that shirt up. No. Don't make me put this camera down and come grab you and rip that shirt off you. What's that camera doing up there, Santos? What are you doing with that, Santos? <laughs> oh my God! What's this camera up here, Santos? Oh, that's a GoPro. Yeah, it's a GoPro. Yeah. How'd you get it up there? Climb up, uh, climb this, uh, counter. So this is it. This is the fucking, this is the big yeah. executive decisions you're making now. You want to make big... Thing, I don't know if, like, it's a good angle. You don't know if it's on is the real yeah, deal. I don't know if, like, <laughs> Guys, and here's Big Lynch, Loki. He doesn't like when I film him. He'll tell me to delete the file. And uh, he even goes on Epic Meal Time. He puts his hood on and stuff. And now he's going to see the camera. He's going to get shook for sure. And there's Wally. <laughs> Look at Wally, wow. Wow, Wally. Shawali Yellow, that's not what you do. That's not how you treat that's not how you treat the deck. That's not how you treat this backyard. Wow, you're not happy about that, eh? No one's happy that the vlog's back. You guys liked it when I was depressed on the couch, eh? <laughs> that's funny, eh? It was sad, bro. It was sad. I think it's funny. What's up, bro? Hey man, what's up? Living it. Living it. <laughs> what do you got to tell the vlog? Uh, you know, just live life. You got any intel for them? Uh, Something that they're fucking up on or they should be wearing or they should be seeing or... I thought to myself recently that uh, next time I go to Cineplex or movie theater, I'm going to make sure I keep the cup because you can give yourself your own refills. So, I'm do that. To bring, you can refill anything there, actually, if you want, right? Well, you need to have their cup. Like, yeah, but are they policing it, bro? You know, you know, it's gonna be that manager. It's gonna be that one guy. But that's, that's if you were younger and you worked there, would you be that one guy that did that and stopped uh, also people? Also, McDonald's. The McDonald's on... Uh, McDonald's. The McDonald's on... The McDonald's in my house. It's a self-serve fountain, so all I need to do is keep one McDonald's cup. I and mean, they come here plenty, so... Isn't a McDonald's drink a dollar, man? Not anymore. Oh, Whopper. Uh, no. See, I knew you had info for the boys. Wendy's. Wendy's. Five dollar Baconators. I knew you had info for the boys. Fake sips. Fake sips. Empty can. No, it's not fake sips. <laughs> <laughs> a fake sips? It's a weird flex of fake sips. Yeah, it's very ice Poseidon of you. No, the sips. Look. No, no. Sip. Very ice Poseidon. 
Yo, what is this Israel hamburger scenario? Holding it down. Trying to keep it locale, huh? Locale. Locale. locale, in case you want to post up in SoCal, shirt off, looking like Mike Santos on the beach. Wow. Nobody knows what Mike Santos looks like on the beach. Who's down? Who's down? Justin Sanchez? Uh, Justin. Justin Timberlake? Yes, sir. What do you mean? What's going on? Yo, you're gonna have to fucking uh, show it again. Yeah. I'm doing appearances here. Santos, you look great, bro. Don't be stupid. How many times you were ugly on the vlog? Yeah, now you look you good. You want to hide? Yo, you don't have boys like I got boys, okay? You don't have boys like I got boys. And let's be honest. I've dealt with a lot of fucking snakes, a lot of fucking snakes, so many snakes fucking Steve Irwin style, fucking, I'm fucking Crocodile Dundee boy, I've been dealing with so many snakes out here, through my life, so many snakes, but, gotta deal with all these snakes, to get them, to get that, that, that one good boy snake, that's a real tight snake that has your back, <laughs> that's so stupid, anyways, my point is, I've had a lot of shitty people in my life, aside from them, man, Sometimes, bro, I gotta sit back and be like, this guy, right here, I've had my laundry chilling, doing nothing for so long, like two weeks. I just went, I ran to the gym, all that shit, I come back, boom. Amir did my laundry, bro. He did my laundry and he knows that my clothes shrink in the, in the dryer, so he went and he hung it all up, dude. This is my guy. This is my guy. You know, I said next person, next girl, I'm gonna put a baby in her, I'm gonna marry her. Nah, I'm just gonna suck Amir's dick every day. We'll be gay together, that's it. That's my boy right there. He's gonna do my laundry. We'll suck each other's dick and play Xbox. <laughs> You're gonna actually be cringing so hard if you heard me saying all this right now. But that's fucking tight. That's tight shit right there. I'm very happy about that. I don't know what to say, guys. Find yourself in a mirror, man. Find yourself in a mirror. You know, and that's why I've always been loyal to him. I got, I got lots of stories about people not being loyal to Amir and me swerving on them and being loyal to Amir in exchange since I first met him way back in the day. I'll tell you some other time, not today. This is, a, this is a positive vlog, but that's fucking tight. That's cool shit, man. I'm very happy about that. Look at these Jew curls popping up. Why don't you guys say something to me, man? <laughs> Shut up. Yes, bro. How do I get in on this with you? Huh? Next order is with me. Totally. I'll sponsor it. That sound good? Yeah, you want this? Yeah, bro. Easy. Let's do it. I ran to the I gym know today. We have to do it. It is time. It is time. We our comeback. Yeah, this is it. Fuck yeah, it is. You heard that, bitch? You heard that? Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? Yeah, I'll move my car. Where are you going, bro? DRB. You coming right back? Yeah, just move my car. You're not going out? Like this? No. What do you mean like that? That's you wear all the time. No. Guys, Dan's new roommate, by the way. We live together now. We should show them the room on the vlog. Well, I was going to say, I was going to do a whole bit. I was going to be like, yo, I'm going to Dan's place. So I haven't checked it out yet. And then I was going to go and be like, don't play. So I'll go and be like, do do? Anyways, we'll still do it. Oh, also, side note, we could talk a little toys a little bit. It's been a minute. I haven't really got into it. But I got this, uh, ordered this so long ago. Like, kind of back when I got those ninjas. You know, I wanted to do, like, some army building shit. So I got, like, some Crusader boys and some, uh... Some skull boys. Um, they're all similar, but I, I thought they'd make great uh, photo companions with uh, Link from Legend of Zelda, my figures. Because I feel like it makes sense for like Link to be fighting like skeletons, so that was my game plan when I got those. Um, but here's one out the box. They're pretty cool, you know? For like 40 bucks, they come with cool accessories and, you know, different heads and stuff. and. Hey man, I'm still I'm still a little bitch boy out here playing with them dolls. This guy too. Now they're like a hundred bucks on eBay, but you know I picked them up. He's posed a little stupid, but don't worry about it. He can be cool. Anyways. Anyways, man, I don't know what to say. It's been so long. It's been a minute since we've been holding it down in the HQ and I've been vlogging with you boys. And girls, like one or two. So, uh, yeah, thought, uh, thought it'd be cool to touch base, you know? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Stupid joke. Don't even. Don't even. Oh, check this out also. Man, so much stuff popping off. How do I make focus better? Touch me. Yeah? Check it out. 
Space Station Gaming, Harley, sponsor. Look at that. What? Hey, your boy's pro gamer now. Shiki, shiki, shiki. A champion. What? Get it. Pretty cool. Alright, guys, hit the like button, show me your penis.